In today's cartoon story joke, we bring you a crocodile-invested story that will make you grin with laughter. Right, buckle up for a wild ride through history because we're diving into the world of animal fighting for prizes. And trust me, it's a real zoo out there. Back in ancient Rome, they didn't mess around when it came to entertainment. Picture this, massive arenas packed with cheering crowds, ready to witness some of the most epic showdowns this side of the Colosseum. First up, we've got chariot races, where drivers risked life and limb to navigate treacherous tracks, all for the glory of victory and maybe a shiny trophy or two. It was like NASCAR meets Mario Kart, but with way more horsepower and a lot fewer blue shells. Then there was Roman boxing, where fighters donned gloves with metal knuckles and duped it out like their lives depended on it. It was less about finesse and more about who could throw the hardest punch without breaking a hand. Talk about a knockout performance, but the real stars of the show were the animals. From ferocious lions to towering elephants, they were the main event, battling it out in the arena for the ultimate prize, survival. And let me tell you, it was a real jungle out there. Behind the scenes, it was a logistical nightmare. Trappers scoured the empire for exotic beasts. Trainers worked their magic to tame them. And then it was showtime. But hey, it wasn't all blood and guts. These animal fights were also a chance for the Romans to show off their creativity. Picture this, a gladiator facing off against a lion while riding an elephant. Now that's what I call entertainment. All right. Hold on to your togas, folks. Let's set the stage with a tale of a legendary farmer named John and his crock-filled dam. So, the next time you complain about waiting in line for popcorn at the movies, just remember you've got nothing on the Romans when it comes to epic animal showdowns. So, there was this legendary farmer, Farmer John, whose farm was so grand, it could make even the sun jealous. And smack in the middle of it all was this massive dam filled to the brim with crocodiles because, you know, every farm needs a little excitement to entertain. One day, Farmer John decided to liven things up a bit. He announced to the whole town that whoever could swim across the crocodile-infested dam would win some spectacular prizes. It was like the Olympics, but with much more teeth. On the big day, many fearless farmers showed up, ready to risk life and limb for fame and fortune. Farmer John, with his flair for the dramatic, laid out the prizes, his glorious farm, a mountain of cash, or his lovely daughter, Rachel. Talk about options. But before he could even finish his sentence, Farmer Billy was already halfway across, dodging crocs like he was born for it. The crowd erupted into cheers, and Farmer Billy emerged on the other side, dripping wet but victorious. As Farmer John, now standing on the other side of the dam, shouted to Farmer Billy, do you want my farm? Farmer Bill shouted back, No thanks, I already have a farm. Then Farmer John shouted, Then you probably want all of my money. Farmer Billy shouted back, No, I don't need your money. Farmer John then shouted, So, it's my beautiful daughter Rachel that you want as your trophy. No, Farmer Billy shouted back, I don't want your daughter. She's very beautiful, but I think I can still do better. Perplexed, Farmer John scratched his head. Well then, Billy, what incarnation do you want? With a twinkle in his eye, Billy grinned and replied, I just want the idiot who pushed me into the water. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here. <laughs>